The Wild Robot by Peter Brown is a captivating tale about a robot named Roz who unexpectedly begins her life on a remote, wild island after surviving a shipwreck. Devoid of human presence, the island is inhabited by a diverse array of animals and the forces of nature. Initially, Roz's mechanical and artificial presence stands in stark contrast to the natural surroundings, and she struggles to adapt to the untamed environment. The story begins as Roz's crate is washed ashore amidst the remnants of a ruined cargo ship. Her activation is a result of a curious otter manipulating her on switch. Roz awakens to her new environment with no set purpose or instructions and utilizes her design to learn from her surroundings and the creatures she encounters. The first challenge she faces is the harsh judgment from the animal inhabitants who view her as a monster, largely due to her unfamiliar and mechanical form. Despite the initial animosity from the animals, Roz gradually learns the ways of the wild by adapting her programmed capabilities. She taps into her survival instincts and begins to observe and mimic the animals to integrate herself into the island's ecosystem. A significant turn of events occurs when she discovers a gosling who has been orphaned, and against all odds or programming, she decides to adopt the young bird. Naming the gosling Brightbill, Roz becomes an unlikely mother. With this adoption, Roz's presence on the island begins to transform. As she raises Brightbill, she garners empathy and support from other animals. They begin to recognize that she is not a threat, but a fellow creature trying to survive. Her motherly care for Brightbill helps bridge the gap between her mechanical existence and the natural world, fostering a sense of community and belonging. Roz becomes an integral part of the island's life, learning how to forage for food, build shelters, and even tell stories, drawing on the data and experiences she accumulates Skills that are not only beneficial for her and Brightbill, but also earn her the respect and friendship of other wildlife. She assists the beavers with their dam construction, helps the deer by keeping watch for predators, and generally uses her abilities to aid those around her. The peace, however, is not everlasting. The arrival of winter poses new challenges for Roz and Brightbill, as the cold brings with it a struggle for survival. Additionally, Roz has to confront her own limitations and the nature of her existence when scavengers known as the Ricos, robots built for reclaiming their kind that have gone wild, begin to appear. They present a looming threat as they are designed to recover and recycle lost robots, and Roz certainly falls under their criteria. As the seasons change and Brightbill grows, he begins to feel the call of his own kind, leading to an emotional dilemma for both Roz and her son. Brightbill ultimately follows the instinct to migrate with his fellow Jis, leaving Roz isolated once again. His departure amplifies the solitude of her existence, but Roz remains tied to the island and its inhabitants, fulfilling her adopted role within this wild family. The novel takes a darker turn as hunters arrive on the island, marking the first substantial human interaction in the story. They pose an immediate threat to the animals, and inadvertently to Roz as they come equipped to dismantle any errant technology they discover. The climax of the story sees Roz heroically protecting her animal friends in a confrontation with the hunters, revealing the depth of her connections and the strength of her learned emotions. The conclusion of the book finds Roz captured by the hunters and taken away from the island she has called home as Bright Bill watches from afar. Having become more than just a robot, Roz's journey takes her into the unknown, leaving the island and its wild inhabitants changed by her presence. The Wild Robot leaves readers reflecting on themes of nature versus technology, the emergent capacity for learning and growth beyond original programming, and the unlikely but profound relationships that can develop between the most disparate of beings. Ultimately, Peter Brown's The Wild Robot is a tale that transcends the mere story of a robot's survival. It is a poignant exploration of adaptation, motherhood, friendship, and the innate drive for life to connect, protect, and flourish, whether organic or mechanical, in the face of the ceaseless challenges posed by both nature and civilization. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.